What's up, you beautiful collectors and action figure fans? It's the one and only Optibottoms coming to you with another video review. And on today's episode, thanks to the folks at Mattel, we're going to be taking a look at the new Jurassic World Thrash and Throw Tyrannosaurus Rex. For the package, you have that really nice open display that actually lets you try that action feature. On the back of the package, you got other figures that are available in this new Jurassic World line, as well as another image here showcasing the Thrash and Throw action. Also, much like all of these new Jurassic World figures, you can use this toy in conjunction with the Jurassic World Facts app, which allows you to scan the bottom of the animal's foot and get some facts on the actual dinosaur. And here we have her open up and out of her packaging. And again, an absolute wonderful representation of the T-Rex as she appeared, more specifically in Jurassic World. But as we know, this is the T-Rex from the Jurassic Park film. Now, this is the second T-Rex that I have taken a look at. Uh, I want to do a little bit of a comparison here, but uh, first doing a, a size. From the tip of her snout to the tip of her tail, she ends up getting about 22 inches uh, or so long. And then in this configuration, what is she? About 8 inches or so tall. So a little bit bigger. I'm bringing in that first T-Rex, uh, you can see that there is a size difference uh, between the two. Uh, I feel as if this is a little bit smaller of one. This one here works pretty darn good with uh, a lot of the new figures, uh, three and three quarter inch figures. Uh, this is uh, the Dr. Alan Grant figure in this new line that I'll be taking a look at. And you can see, uh, I feel like this scale works pretty good. And I'm going to keep him here because it plays in with the uh, play feature here but overall really very nice now like i said this is how uh, the t-rex appears in uh, yeah and that's going to happen a lot but this is how the t-rex appears in the jurassic world film the way that you can tell is all these scratches in the uh, sculpt you got some deep ones right here you got some coming across her face on her jaw uh, you look back on her legs she has some you come around here to the back I'm trying to see if there's any, oh, I don't really see much here on her back, but you flip around to the other side, you got some more along the sides and then it legs, like I said. It, it's, it's cool that it's not also identical from side to side. Like for example, she doesn't have any gashes down here that she has on that side. So that's really cool. But again, a tremendous amount of paint detail. You can see gorgeous variation with the paint throughout the head, throughout the body, uh, does get, again, a little bit bland here with the jaw. I don't mind this lighter color, but I do wish, like, here, there was more of this kind of fade, as you can see. When they have it here, I wish they put it up on that section as well, just blending it in a little bit better. That's literally the only bad part about the paint applications on her. Everything else looks terrific. You can see gorgeous paint around her eyes you got the yellow nice black pupil right there you got the kind of off-white teeth you open up the mouth you have a very glossy looking tongue you have that weird tendon thing there which again I'm, I'm always amazed by and then like i said the paint detail really does come down here throughout the rest of the body down through the back uh, not really anything into the tail area uh, that's kind of all just one sort of color uh, but it, it blends in fairly nicely uh, now one thing that i do want to note uh, you do have some nice black paint here on the claws uh, but the little extra little claw up here you can kind of see is not painted uh, that's on both sides uh, i probably will just paint that myself with like a black sharpie or something just to kind of fix that a little bit uh, now you come around here to the bottom you can see you got that paint fade throughout the bottom but then you also do have the battery compartment now that does kind of stick out uh, when i was showing off the uh, roarabore figures uh, i i kind of talked about how it blends in um i mean you don't really notice it all that much i mean you kind of do from the side there you can see like little holes right there i mean it's not terrible uh, but it is there now the thing with her is there are several i mean there's the action feature which you grab hold the tail and you can make her kind of just go back and forth it's going to be kind of hard to show here let me see if i can do it here you can go back and forth which is cool you can actually also make her go up and down which uh plays into the feature uh with her 
roaring and screaming you can open the mouth you can see when you bring the tail up it brings the head down in a snapping action uh, you can then go back like so pull that down bringing that uh, bringing down and she just basically opens her mouth and then you get that roar which is great and then the action feature is uh, let's bring in Mr. Alan Grant you got this and then you let's, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do it let's oh nope <laughs> it's a little bit tricky to do so let's try that again and it's fairly forceful uh, honestly so I don't know all right ready and it's hard to kind of hold her and do it and right, oh you can't even see oh right nah, nah. it's so hard to do it all right here let me look at the camera when I'm doing it ready okay so ready. Uh, nah. one more try one more try I'm gonna come in from I'm just gonna come around here. Let's see if this works. Let's. Uh, no. Oh, I. <laughs> I kind of by the head. Actually, by the hat. So, all right. Let's just cheat and put him in there. Okay. So now you have this. You can whip him around and get that crazy whiplash action on and then throw him so that's what the play pattern is supposed to be the other thing is that he's got this little now we've seen this before it's the little code to be used with the jurassic world uh, fax app uh, but you can see it's actually a button which kind of plays into a bit of a problem it's springy and you hear the and that's what that is it's pushing and you can hear it sounds different, but because it's springy, it kind of actually pushes the foot up a little bit and doesn't keep it flat. So there is a balance issue. You kind of have to spread things around with the uh, ankles. And luckily you can, but it is a little bit tricky to do. So um, it, it, it kind of bothers me that's there. I, I honestly might... Uh, lock that into place by I don't know maybe doing um, I'm trying to see where my little clear sword was so I can prop the mouth open to get that little action thing going but I'm I don't think I'm gonna be able to uh, but that's uh, one thing that I do have an issue with as you can see kind of makes her a little bit wobbly and that takes away from the enjoyment of the figure uh, now obviously you can without using the tail you can and it makes the tail kind of go too but open that up let's see no no then well, i thought that actually did it All right, so maybe the tail does do it. I don't know. Uh, now, for uh, her articulation, uh, you can see that you do have the wiggle uh, and then the up and down, but it's really all tied into the gimmick of her. Um, so you can kind of push it, and it will kind of stay bent a little. Not a lot. I mean, you can see there's a little bit of a turn. And then the other side, you can kind of wedge it there, and it'll kind of stay there pretty decently. But again, it, the, the foot really does kind of bother me uh the little arms here are on little swivels so you can move that forward and back it is a little bit softer of a material too so uh, there's a little bit of flex in it these back hips can ratchet so you can go like that heavy duty ratchet so you can well you, you even really can't i mean unless you go like that and then he's hunched over but uh, or she's hunched over but the tail because of that it it you can't really get a more upright pose so um you could kind of go down a little bit too and have have her like eating food i guess and then the hips also do move 
in and out you can see slightly and then the ankles do rotate and you really do need to help or use that to kind of get her to help stand now one thing that i do want to mention my table is a little bit rounded so it does cause a little bit of a problem but there is some balancing that is needed so it's probably the best t-rex i think size wise works really good um the other one i really do like uh, I, I mean it does have the weird little neck sleep but see like that that that's just making her fall over um so you, you have to kind of balance her a little bit uh, i feel like this one is probably the best one uh, in terms of the overall display, I and mean, I also love the fact that there's a tongue, uh, but I like the size on this one better. And then there is a little bit better of a paint application here in the nose. You can see a lot more darker colors kind of thrown in there, which really does look good. Both look great. Uh, and because it's the same Rex, uh, people may be less inclined to uh, display them together. But I think if you're a customizer, you could custom paint this one and create a different looking T-Rex, a little bit smaller one, uh, maybe have, because she's a female, maybe have this one be a male. I, I think that there's science that says that the male T-Rexes were a little bit smaller than the female one. So maybe you could do something like that just as an overall dinosaur display. Now, uh, using the little toy here on the bottom to uh, use the Jurassic World Fax app, let's get all this going. Let's screen grab. Three, two, one. There we go, and we're down. Oh, there we go. Put it here, and here we are. Dun, 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 dun. Why am I doing Indiana Jones? No idea why I'm doing that, but uh, Pachycephalosaurus, four days left. We can do that. All right, now we're just going to scan the bottom of this. I'm curious because we already have the T-Rex from the first one, so scanning this, I'm just curious what that's going to do. So there's uh the t-rex um dinosaur already collected so yeah that it, it doesn't uh have a different code on the bottom that's a little bit unfortunate uh i i would have liked maybe they here's collection we go to the t-rex maybe it opens up more facts oh it kind of looks like it does let's see she is a carnivore preying on other large dinosaurs Bottom left one here says fossilized footprints suggest the Tyrannosaurus may have hunted in groups. That's interesting. I don't remember. I don't remember if um, those were already unlocked. They might have been. Um, but let's try a quiz here. Uh, get some more points. I, I have 50 points there. And let's see. It looks like I need to get more to be able to unlock some more uh uh, facts. So let's get this going. Uh, the Pteranodon builds her nest on warm, rocky islands. I'm going to say true. There we go. The Baryonyx likes dry, sandy deserts. I think that, oh, no, that's not true. All right. Uh, the Monolophosaurus lives in marshlands near small volcanoes or small mountains and volcanoes. True. All right. Some of this stuff I'm guessing. The Herosaurus lives in volcanic jungles with lots of rivers. I'm going to say false. No, no, that is true. All right. What type of environment does the Baryonyx like best? Uh, if I paid attention to the other one, I probably would have remembered. I don't think it's sand deserts, the tropical jungles. No, nope. I think it was the rivers and lakes. What type of habitat does the Minim, minmi, minmi live in. I don't even know what that is. Um, deserts where water is hard to find near rivers. There we go. Let's see. The Spinosaurus is a land-only dinosaur that stays away from water. That's false. If you watch Jurassic Park 3, you know that. What type of environment does the Stegosaurus live in? I feel like I've gotten this before. Um, mountainside with low... Oh, my battery's dying. Low brush. Oh, no. Oh, that's pretty bad. Time's up. Continue. Oh, well, I didn't do very good. There we go, guys. Let's end that and bring her back in. Uh, there's the foot thing again. Um, overall, though, um, like I said, the foot thing bothers me. I, I probably will tape that uh, so that I don't have to worry about the balance thing anymore. Uh, I like the overall design of this one. I like the size of this one better. Uh, I do feel like the uh, the other one, the chomp chomping chomping one, is probably the best overall one. I just feel you can see like she's this thing here does not 
really help. Like I said, I, I'm really curious to um, tape that and see if that actually helped things. Who knows? But yeah, you can see definitely wiggles and then trying to just get the feet balanced to to get her to stand. It's it's not easy. Uh, and again, and, and mind you, my table is rounded. Uh, so there is difficulty there, but uh, not overall happy. There we go. Uh, it, it's it's difficult. It, it is a little bit frustrating, uh, but I, I feel I can fix that. Uh, if I do, I'll, be, I'll leave a comment down in the video description or in the comment section. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. I, I, I do like her. Don't get me wrong. I think for the scale, especially these ones, this is the best scale T-Rex that we have. We've taken a look at the smaller one. We've taken a look now at the medium. We have one more that's coming in. <laughs> That one is going to be special. So look forward to that review. But if you're looking for her or any of the other new Jurassic World figures, she is hitting various retailers right now. Or as always, there's Big Bad Toy Store. So all you have to do for that is click on the link down in the video description. You'll go to BBTS where you can check out availability on her as well as the rest of the wide range of new Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom figures. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. Remember, if you like this video, I would really appreciate you letting me know by hitting that thumbs up button. It actually does go a long way towards helping me out, and I would really appreciate it. Also, if you're new here, welcome. And before you go, make sure you subscribe in case you haven't already subscribed. That way you'll get instant email notifications whenever I upload a new video, and you'll never miss out on a future review of mine. Or hey, if you already subscribed, now more than ever, it's important to make sure that you're getting those email notifications. We all know just how unreliable that YouTube subscription box is, and the best way to help support my channel and not miss any future reviews of mine is to click on that little bell right below this video and double check your settings to make sure that they're set so that you get those email notifications. And a very special thanks to you if you made it all the way to the end of this video. Another way that you can really help support my channel is making sure that you watch a video all the way through. And if you did that, thank you. And finally, remember, the real trouble with the world is too many people grow up. Thank you for watching and taking the time to be a kid.